Hello and welcome to Richard Bozlich's Get Strong at Tsuji. Today we've got some more advanced problems, starting with problem number 271. How does Black save his two stones in the corner here? Black's move is to push, and when white blocks, this exposes some cutting points, that's why Black is pushing first. And now Black is going to use that by cutting and attarying. White will extend, Black will follow. If white had a stone here, this wouldn't work because then white could just play here to Atari it. So this liberty is very important for black to have. Uh, from here, white will force this Atari because it's free and he's going to build thickness this way. Doesn't want to go the other way to start a ladder or try to start a ladder because it's just not going to work because black can easily capture these two stones instead. Um, from, from here, after black connects, white will go here exposing this Atari. Uh, forcing black to come back and capture the two stones. White will get this free move in and black will capture. And now black has thickness facing this way from those two previously thought dead stones. Problem number 275, black is again looking to save his two stones in the corner. How does he do this? Black's move is the clamp here, and now because of this, white's going to be captured. If white connects, black just Ataris. If white tries to descend, then black will just cut. Um, if white honeys, then black will Atari. Even if white tries to start this co-looking thing, it doesn't matter, because black is connected. In fact, black doesn't need to connect because white can't play there, it'd be self-Atari. If black tries anything else, like cutting first, then white will just push and connect up. Uh, if black tries to cut it off, then white will connect. This is Atari and these stones, so black needs to save them, which gives white enough time to connect. And now because the cutting stones are fine on both sides, these stones are going to die. If black tries to honey first, white will do the same move as before by pulling here. If black tries to again disconnect, white will connect underneath. Black can't play here, be self-Atari. This would also be self-Atari, so black needs to connect here first, which gives white enough time again to connect. Even if black captures, white disconnects. Again, both sides cutting stones are fine, black is going to die. Moving on to problem number 282, and this is the only one that I've covered so far that actually requires Ko as an answer. So Black is looking to save his three stones in the corner, and he does this by starting a Ko. How does he start the Ko? Black's first move is to crush White's eye potential with a move like this. This also threatens to double Atari this on the next move, so White needs to block against that. Now black will threaten to connect up to this stone, in which case white will connect here and Atari. Black will come back again, threatening to connect and put all this in Atari, so white needs to capture. And then black starts the co with this move, and white needs to find the first co-threat. And it's got to be a pretty big co-threat, because this in territory alone from the captures is worth 19 points, plus black is saving 6 stones from white in the corners. So this is worth about you know 25 to 30 points. Problem number 299, Black is looking again to save his two stones in the corner. How does he do this? Black's key move is to descend here, and then if white fixes shape by playing a move like this, then black will play here to deprive it of its eye. And now black is going to kill this group. If black tries something like honeying, then white will throw in and play here, and now it's going to be a ko. Uh, if, if Black tries to Atari the single stone here, white will capture this. Now it's up to black to find the co threat. Problem number 302, black is looking to capture the white stones in the corner. What is his move to do this? Black's move is to cut. Cutting is very important. Um, pretty much you only have three candidates, it's this one, this one, or this one. Because if you do anything else and not take a liberty off of this thing, then white will take a liberty off of this and black will lose the capturing race. So, but the best move is for black to cut. If white Ataris, then black extends. This is the two stone tower to Suji again. Uh, white will Atari, black will cut, capture, throw in, Atari, and then honey. And now this dumpling of stones only has two liberties to black's three. Even if white starts, black can Atari and black is fine. Moving on to problem number 323, black is looking to capture something in here. Now it's very vague, but black is looking to capture some stones. How does he do this? Black's move is to cut here, and this seems like a very terrible move because then, oh, well white just double Atari's and you're going to lose everything. Well, no, because black has this move, and this is also double Atari. White can't connect here because it's just going to die, and make a nice little heart shape. 
Uh, so white needs to choose. If white picks this one, then black will uh, capture this one. If white chooses the outside, then black will capture the other one and capture the corner. So that is it for another set of advanced problems. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.